let's find the linear factorization of this polynomial. And it's a polynomial my students really hate because they want to do factoring. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of factoring in this problem. We do recognize, though, that they have a common factor of x cubed, so we can factor that out first. OK, so we factor out the x cubed. Great. But to write this as a linear factorization, I need to break down this x squared minus 3x plus 1. And unfortunately, by a little quick little check, we recognize this is not factorable across rational numbers. There's no two numbers that multiply to give me 1 that add to give me negative 3. So what I'm going to do is use the quadratic formula to go ahead and find the zeros and then rewrite the zeros as my factors. OK, remember quadratic formula, opposite of b. So since that's negative, the opposite is positive. Square root, negative 3 squared minus 4 times 8 times c, all over 2a. Negative 3 squared is going to be a 9. Minus a 4 is going to be a 5. So therefore, I can rewrite this as a 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2, which also can be written as a 3 halves plus or minus a 1 half square root of 5. All right, now that's equal to x. But ladies and gentlemen, if we need to rewrite this as factors, we need to subtract the 3 half and then subtract the 1 half square root of 5, subtract the 3 halves, and add a 1 half square root of 5. So the final linear factorization is going to look like this.